The parallel tour path is the most widely used 3D finishing strategy. Let's take a quick look. I will select parallel from the 3D section on the ribbon bar and we are presented with properties to the left. The five tabs are always the same in Inventor HSM. They stay in the same order and has the same functions no matter what type of toolpath you use. This is done so it will be much easier to learn and remember using Inventor HSM. The first tab is always where you select your tool and input your feeds and speeds. Let me click on the tool button to access the tool library. I'll give you a quick tour. At the bottom, you can create a new mill tool, new tool holder, new turning tool, and then edit and select tools when we add them here in our workspace. You will see the 16mm end mill used to rough our part already. We want to use a ball end mill for this operation, so I will go to the library to the left. I'm going to scroll down and select the tutorial folder, and here I have a 10mm ball end mill. Let me click once to highlight the tool and then click select. I want to point out that Inventor HSM has a great shaft and holder option that if needed can avoid collision between the tool and the workpiece. The second tab is Geometry. This is where we can select what we want to machine. We are selecting right on our Inventor model, so if there is a change later to our model, Inventor HSM will know and you can update the toolpath with a click of a button. You do not have to reprogram your part. I will use selection for our machining boundary and select the edge of our core. You have three options for tool containment. Keeping the tool inside our selected boundary, allow the center of the tool to the edge, and in this case, tool outside boundary, as the geometry of this part will allow that. I also want to point out that you do have in-depth control with the avoid and touch surface option if needed. The third tab is where you can adjust all your heights. I want to make sure that our tool does not gouge the flat area, so for our bottom height, I will choose selection and pick right on our solid model. I can then add one millimeter here as an offset. The fourth tab is the Passes tab. This has everything to do with the cutter engaged in the material. I know that my pass direction is running along the x-axis, so I will rotate it 90 degrees. I also want a better finish, so I will decrease the step over to 1 millimeter. The fifth and last tab is all about the cutter not engaged in the material. You have control over such things as lead in and lead out. Creating a 3D toolpath in Inventor HSM is easy. Let me click OK and if I click Simulate and Play, you will see that we have created a 3D parallel toolpath with just a few clicks.